hi guys welcome to my channel in this video i'll be taking you through the uk's street saturday market and while i'm taking you through the saturday street market i will be telling you the brief history of how the saturday market or weekend street market started the tradition of selling goods on the street in britain start especially on weekends dates back to the middle east time back to the 18th century and one of the main reasons this practice began was out of necessity as most people lived in small villages or rural areas at that time and they didn't have access to large permanent shops and most of them also didn't have time during the week to go to travel out of the small rural areas where they stay to go to big cities where there are large permanent shops to buy things because of their long working hours and their busy schedule. So they ended up only having to rely on the weekend street market. And most times, most of these British people then were like farmers or people that had goods that they just wanted to sell or things they didn't need anymore but because they only lived in a small town it was quite difficult for them to get goods and services so most of them started resorting to selling things on the street and this street market was also a way of networking for them to come out to interact with folks and also for factory workers then and working class people as well as farmers to come together to meet and to interact on weekends as a result of all these reasons markets were set up in town squares or along the street often on saturdays when farmers and other travelers would travel to sell their goods in the middle age times markets were often held once a week and serve as the main way for people to buy and sell goods, clothes, tools, and other necessities. Over time, Saturday became a popular day for this street market because it allows farmers and workers to come together into town after working all week. The weekend market evolved into a social and economic event where town folk gathered to shop and also to exchange news. As the cities grew into the Industrial Revolution in the 18th and 19th centuries, these street markets became even more popular because many factory workers and city dwellers had limited time to shop due to long working hours. So weekend markets were a convenient way to purchase fresh produce, meat and goods. In places like London, street markets such as the Petticoat Lane became famous for their bustling stores filled with everything from food to secondhand clothes and also to antiques. Aside from all of these reasons, selling on the street was also a way for poorer people to make a living because those without shops who can't afford shops or who can't afford the rent to get a permanent place to display their goods can simply sell items directly from a basket or a cart right on the street in the open street on weekends. It was a common sight to see hawkers selling everything from fresh fish to flowers to secondhand clothes and even today the tradition of selling things on weekends on the street is a very popular ancient british tradition you may be wondering in this modern era are street markets still necessary do you think they should be scrapped or do you think what are even the importance of street markets in today's era even with the modernized age street markets are still very important for the following reasons one which includes support for small businesses Street market offers a platform for small businesses and independent traders to sell their product and also to advertise themselves. When you come out on weekend to this street market, you meet a lot of people or a lot of vendors or sellers that you didn't know had those type of goods and even if you are not there to patronize them that day you can always get their contact and reach out to them when you want to buy the goods they are selling another advantage of street market today is it promotes cultural diversity most times when i go to this street market i see a lot of asians a lot of people from africans a lot of different people selling different cultural items i see a lot of snacks from different places a lot of food and i also try out some of this food it promotes cultural diversity because sometimes without those street markets i won't even know that those 
type of food or those type of items exist in those culture another advantage is it's a tourist attraction on weekends when there are these street markets you see a lot of people from far and wide that travel to your local city just to patronize that market there's one market in manchester it's like an african market where they sell wholesale things if you go to that market you can buy carton of turkey carton of fish a lot of different things you can buy yam plantain these are mostly african items and asian items but people travel far and wide just to even have a feel of that what that market looks like and that market is a very huge market for mostly food items and also clothing as well but that market is open as early as 3 a.m in the morning they are open so you see it's a way of attracting tourists and most of those tourists for them to meet up most of this market they have to lodge in hotels they travel a night before lodge in hotels so that way you're promoting local businesses because you are attracting people that comes from far and wide to that place and that way your city is you're attracting people and also you're making money another very important of street market is preserving tradition this is an ancient tradition that dates back to the 18th century and we are still having that experience today so you can see that these street markets are very important as a way of preserving traditions because without this street market we won't even know that once upon a time in ancient british there was once one some of these street markets another good thing about street market is their affordability and they have fresh products most of these fresh products are very very affordable you can buy it for very affordable prices so you see, unlike when you go out to the shops and as another advantage is you see a lot of fresh fruit because most of these people that comes out to this street market to sell their things they are private people that might have an apple tree in their garden or they can have pineapple they can have fresh fruits that they they need to sell for some extra income so you see they sell all of these things as a fraction of the price and they are also freshly made now tell me, have you ever been to a street market in Europe or any country where you are in the world? And what do you like about street markets? Are street market open? Does the traders need to sell to buy tickets or is it free for anyone that wants to sell to just come out from their shops or from their houses to sell? Or do they need to pre-booked their slots do they need to pay a certain fare for them to come and sell their products? Also, if you've not been to a street market before would you like to be to would you like to visit one let me know what you think and also let me know of what you think about this video thank you so much for watching see you in our next video bye please like this video subscribe share and see you in our next video